Hi, this is Phil Klotzbach, research scientist in the Department of Atmospheric Science at Colorado State University and non-resident scholar for III, here with an update on the seasonal hurricane forecast from CSU. CSU updated their forecast today and is continuing to call for an above average Atlantic hurricane season with a total of 18 named storms. Um, of those 18, eight becoming hurricanes and of those eight, four becoming major category three, four, five hurricanes, hurricanes with winds of 111 miles per hour or greater. Uh, this forecast does include tropical storm Anna, which for in May. Um, two of the reasons why we're forecasting an above normal hurricane season. One is that we do not anticipate El Nino conditions this summer and fall. El Nino is warmer than normal water in the central and eastern tropical Pacific Ocean. When that occurs, it tends to increase upper level westerly winds and tear apart hurricanes in the Atlantic as they're trying to develop and to intensify. We also currently observe warmer than normal waters in the subtropical North Atlantic. So not in the deep tropics, but a little bit further to the north. When these waters are warm in the subtropical North Atlantic, that tends to force a weaker high pressure system, which then results in weaker winds blowing across the tropical Atlantic, which then results in warmer waters in the tropical Atlantic for the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. Uh, we do advise people though, regardless of the seasonal hurricane forecast, that we need to prepare the same for every hurricane season because it only takes one hurricane making landfall near you to make it an active season.